Imagine a space without time, an existence that no science, arithmetic, or religion will ever be able to explain. Dive deep into the depths of your own being while soaring to the outer reaches of the universe. Imagine a single man so big in his own mind that he has to do his own introduction. Naked. The earth has aligned with the sun. It's time for the Brian Cusco live stream. I think maybe, I think that maybe it's time changing for a reason. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, not, maybe not. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Brian Cusco live stream. That's me, Brian Cusco, live with you. Come here, right, direct live. Ugh, I just finished uh, running around with my little nephews. We were playing a little keep away, and it was pretty evenly matched. I say those guys are pretty athletic. Uh, yeah, welcome to live stream, guys. So. We are going to do a little bit of giveaway tonight. We're not going to do any trivia tonight like we usually have been doing the past few weeks. I'm sitting here at my mother-in-law's craft station. A little makeup, make make impromptu live stream setup. Um, also, I just want to thank you guys for all the comments on that last video. Um, that was that was fantastic, man. You, I, I was kind of blown away again. Same thing kind of with the anxiety thing with Hillary. Like I was blown away by the amount of people that have similar experiences. That was kind of... Uh, Crazy. There's somebody knocking on the door. Yes, who is it? May I help you? Must be one of my nephews. <laughs> you guys, you guys can't mess with me. I'm focused right now. I can't be bothered. I'm focused. I'm hard down the middle in the line. We're here to Boys! What are you doing? Get out of here, you monkeys! I got all my nephews and they're hanging up, Noah and their cousins and Noah and Eli and their two boy cousins. These guys are going to be out of control. They've already been out of control, to be fair. Um, yeah. <laughs> Empowering women in herpetology. That's what tonight's stream is about. Um, before we jump into the next thing, I just wanted to show you a little clip of the girls that w I'm talking about here. You may, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while and saw a video, this is probably sometime last year, maybe. Um, here's a little clip of uh, the people that I'm talking about right now. So if you guys remember that video, there's these girls that I went out with from Cal Poly. They're part of a program called uh, Physiology. Physiology. <laughs> I can never get it right. Physiology, uh, Ecology, Reptiles Lab, something like that. Pearl, the Pearl Lab. These girls do work with rattlesnakes and all kinds of other animals, and they're part of. Um, well, here, take take another look at this other clip. This is like they're they're legit. These girls do it for real out in the field. Herpetologists. They're graduate student um Haley Crowell was heading them up I would go out with, with her a couple times and check out some really cool stuff check out one more clip and then we'll get a little bit more detail into what's going on here so we know this is MDO4 because he's got a green rattle we paint their rattles so we can ID him of course he's not rattling he's not doing anything because 
They're not super vicious. They're adorable and we're not doing anything mind-blowingly threatening. All handling we do in the lab is <laughs> extremely hands-off. Um, as Crofab, the wonderful antivenin that's been developed for rattlesnakes, does not work well at all on Pacific rattlesnake venom because their venom's pretty unique. So, you know, if you get bit by like a rattlesnake anywhere in the country, it's the same antivenin to treat all species. And uh, it works better on some and not so good on others. And it works really not well on these guys. So we do everything super hands off. So that's, that's Haley, and she was a graduate student of Dr. Emily Taylor. If you guys have been watching this channel since real close to the beginning, you remember Dr. Emily Taylor. She was one of the first people involved with reptiles that I met in the county when I moved down to Slow County to hang out and try and find reptile folks down there. She was doing a, a, a rattlesnake presentation at the Turtle Club that I'm part of now. And um, she was uh, she's down there, and I found some grover snakes a couple times that had been either run over by a car or somebody weed whacked them in uh, our neighbor's yard. And uh, I called her up and she was like, yeah, bring them down. I'll do what I can. So she just, here, here's a little clip from, uh, I asked her like, w w what is it that inspires you to like take some time out of your day and your busy schedule just to help out this wild snake here? And you might see a clip of, uh, you might see here, just check out the clip. So what is it about you that makes you so awesome that you're willing to take care of <laughs> wild snakes on your free time? I love snakes. Yeah, that's that's a good reason. That's a great reason. I love snakes. I know how to stitch them up. It just would cost a lot of money for a veterinarian and no one's going to do that for a wild snake. So I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> but you do know how to work the needle. Um, I can do one type of stitch. One that works on snake skin. That's it. So Dr. Emily also fixed up this wild king snake one time that they, they had found when she was out with her class. And the snake had maybe been run over by a car or something. And it had its heart basically out of its chest. And she was able to get the heart back into the chest, stitch it back up. And that snake is still alive today and has like its own Twitter account. I don't remember the snake's name. But um, anyway, so I'm, I know I'm building up something here. We are also, by the way, if you guys are just joining, we're still going to do a uh, comment picker at the end of this video. And still some, do some giveaways tonight, even though we're not doing trivia. People that commented on the last stream will... Go do some random comment picker, get you guys in there. Who wants to see this last clip before I tell you what's going on here? Um, it's, it's Dr. Emily right there stitching up this snake. Do you guys want to see her in action? Again, if you've been subscribed to the channel since the beginning, this is like uh, maybe like the eighth or ninth video we put out on the channel. But uh, you'll also get to see a quick shot of Noah Sage when he still had teeth. Old school Sage boy. If you guys want to see that clip, I'll, I'll shoot it up here real quick for a minute. I'm going to check out the chat. What's up, Justin? What's up, Phil? What's up, Kathy? <laughs> Psycho squirrel. Low life. Hey, I got your sticker. I think I put it up. I don't know if I put it up or not. Kenny, Louie. It seems like everybody wants to. Do we have any no's? Do we have any? I don't want to see your stitch of the snake. Oh, Evan. My man, Evan Woldridge, down there in the comments, my guys. He he has the uh, podcast uh, Strength in the Leos. He just had Garrett and I on from Searchables Reptiles at, on, as his guest today. We were doing that thing over there. So you guys should go check out the Strength in Leos podcast. Uh, Mr. Evan Woldridge right there. That's that's the guy. He's got a really good podcast. He was on Triple B TV recently. Great head on his shoulders. 17-year-old kid. Got his stuff together way more than I ever did when I was 17. Um, okay, here's the clip of Emily um, stitching up this snake real quick. An, an old school sage biscuit. We like to do outreach with kids in the, in the laboratory. What's that? I think it's my possibly be his little testis for sure. Is that Weezer? Mm-hmm. These boys, these boys. I'm gonna, after we're done with this live stream, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna lay a whooping on those boys. You better believe it. <laughs> they know better than that. Um, yeah. So basically, these guys are looking to get out to New Zealand to the World Herpetology Congress this year and do a presentation on on women in herpetology, of which 
I'm sure many of you guys realize it's, it's most, mostly a male. Not that there aren't a bunch of women out there doing it and girls out there doing it, but it's definitely a male-dominated field. So they're doing an all-girl trip, and they're trying to fund it, and uh, they kind of hit a plateau on their thing. There's a link down in the description. If you guys are able to, go check it out and see what – they've got like a minute video up there as well and a little spiel on what it is they have going on. They're going to be giving away T-shirts to uh, some of the people that are able to help them meet their goal so they can get over there and represent the female – keepers the female herpetologists at the uh, world congress this year so that's what the main part of the live stream is about and i just wanted to get them up here on the platform since they did hit a plateau on their goal and try and give them a little extra boost if possible from um all us awesome folks over here that are able to do so um so check the link out in the description and uh yeah yeah she's uh they're they're great folks i mean great people what they're doing is awesome and if you guys are into it. I saw there was one dislike before we even started thing as some, some kind of male chauvinist or something or just didn't like the idea of empowering women. Hey, I get it, man. Good luck with that, though. Uh, <laughs> we're, but check out the link in the description uh, once again. And we're going to pop over here. I'm going to draw a couple names out of the hat from the last stream and see if we get some people, some stickers and, and whatnot. Uh, you guys ready? I am going to be ready in a second as soon as I get this comment picker pulled up and we will snag some stuff for you awesome folks are able to be here with us on the live stream you guys ready all right let's do it comment picker here we go uh, i guess first i should probably grab the correct uh this is from the last live stream copy the link from that come back over in here paste that thing up in the bisque bisque and we'll filter the comments not many because it's a live stream of course so your odds are high you comment on these live streams after the fact you get a high chance of being creel star Wish he, see, he wishes he would have made the live stream, but damn, but damn, 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 he didn't. But it's all right, Creel Star. Just hit me up, A Creel Star, and uh, we'll get you some stickers sent out there, my friend. And we're going to do a couple more of these, too. So let's see. Anybody else? We, there's only, only 30 people that you could put, 30 people. That's pretty good uh, odds, I'd say. Let's see who is, winner number two is. Oh, excuse me. I just had pizza and run around with the boys. Yes, fast recovery. Oh, man. Randy Kenton, hit me up. Uh, bcusco at me.com is the email you guys need to hit up so I can get you your stickers. B-K-U-S-K-O at me.com. And we're going to we're gonna grab one more out of there. You got a high percent chance of being the one if you get your comment in after the fact. Jimmy West, be careful. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. So, dude, I, I'm still sore for sure. And sitting still is the thing that seems to get me the most is sitting still. Like when I move around, I'm kind of running around with the boys and trying to play keep away and, and running and moving. It's good. Everything gets lubricated. But sitting in the car to get down here yesterday and just sitting in front of the computer doing stuff today, just I was walking through the parking lot and dude, uh, this morning and I sneezed. It was ridiculous. I sneezed and felt like the reaction I had to my sneeze was like, oh, oh, oh I think I'm going to die. <laughs> it was, it was ridiculous, man. It was super ridiculous, but um i'm glad you guys are here for the live stream tonight i want to chat with you guys a couple in the comments for a minute oh hey an amazing house thank you for the super chat there my friend oh dude an amazing house you guys he just started a channel over there actually you guys go check him out he's retiring from the military soon um and he's looking to start some management stuff i think he's going to try to get to herpeton correct me if i'm wrong there my friend he's going to try to make out to herpeton makes connections he's got a lot of experience in uh management and uh, I mean, a, a large skill set that it could be very beneficial to the hobby and, and herpetoculture and organizing people and groups to communicate and get things done as, you know, across through. <laughs> See, like what I'm failing at right now, he's got a degree in that. So he look at go check him out. See what he's about. I'd appreciate it. Um, Yeah, that was uh, that was about it. I'm going to probably jump off of here and go. Um, hey, boys, why don't you come in here? Why don't you come in here so you guys can see, uh, so everybody can see uh, what the whooping I'm about to lay down on you. We can make it public. Come inside. I'm going to whoop these kids, man. <laughs> yeah, check out KB's an amazing house, man. Uh, that is, though, about it for the live stream. I just wanted to get this word out there for these girls because they are awesome. They do awesome work, and uh, I think that they're very deserving of going over there to the World Congress um, and presenting for the females in the in the hobby yeah yeah come on here boy you want to was that you guys out there let's get some, let's get some, let's get some, 
You want some of this? Boy? Come on, here, show your butt on YouTube. Come on, you got that YouTube butt whooping in. You want another? You want some of this too, boy? No, 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 no. I think so. What's up? Oh, come on, yeah, let's get. <laughs> All right, get out of here, you disrespectful little punks. Bye bye. <laughs> That's my nephews, man. They're awesome. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, we weren't pulling the comments from the the live stream tonight. We were pulling from the uh, the previous. We weren't doing. I was just wanted. This stream was about getting the word out for these girls and uh, pulling some comments from the last one. But next week's live stream, we'll be doing trivia like we usually do on the live stream. So you can count on trivia next week, and there will be winners pulled from the live stream directly. But this video will be up twenty four seven. You can go comment on this video after it's over and enter into the drawing for next week. If that's what you really want to do, you're here on the live stream now, you want to win something, just stick around to want to hit the end stream button and make a comment on the stream because I'm leaving it up. I'm not deleting it. It's going to be up here. And yes, we are doing um, a little Patreon stream after. It'll be, uh, you know, it's a much more uh, intimate, intimate. Maybe there'll be some more children uh, reprimanded physically on the next live stream too. We'll see. But uh, tomorrow on Triple B TV, we've got Matthias. Ma Matthias Lem, that's Jeff Lem's son, giving a talk on his uh, inspirations in herpetoculture. Young kid, been all around the world. And again, the Patreon thing, if you guys want to go check that out, the link's in the description. We'll be doing a stream in just a few minutes over there with a much smaller audience and just kind of sitting back and shooting the shit. So if you guys want to do that, come on over there. And that's it for me tonight, guys. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's content on the live stream. It's a little different than what we usually do, but I, I really I like these girls. I believe in what they do, so I wanted to support them as much as I could. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow on Triple B TV and then Thursday back here on the vlog. Y'all have a good night, all right? Peace. Thank you for watching the live stream. I really had a lot of fun. If you want to see more live stream, tune in next week for that one. If you tuned in for this live stream, you might have won some real cool stuff. I'd like to do more live stream, but I think you've had enough.